Welcome to Canadian Coffee House Crime. My name is Catherine. And right now I am residing in the town of Jasper, Alberta, working at the Marmot Basin Ski Hill for a season. So I thought I'd do a series of cases from the Jasper National Park area. I'll be able to drive around to certain areas and give you some good footage. My last two cases were from Jasper and Hinton, Alberta. Today we're going to the Icefields Parkway and then to the Chateau Lake Louise and then to Revelstoke, BC and then I'll finish off in Banff. My third case in the Jasper National Park area series is from the mysterious Columbia Icefields Parkway, 95 kilometers away from the town of Jasper, where the Jasper National Park and the Banff National Park meet. An ice field is a large area of interconnected glaciers made from years of freezing compressed snow, which turns into ice. The Columbia ice fields are the largest ice fields in North America, south of the Arctic. The six major glaciers that make up the ice field are the Athabasca, Castleguard, Columbia, Dome, Stutfield, and the Saskatchewan. It is 325 square kilometers. It was formed during the Great Glaciation period around 200,000 BC, Homo sapiens around 65,000 BC. The route of the Icefield Parkway was discovered by geology professor Arthur Coleman in 1884. A group of British explorers in 1898 described the view of the ice field that extended to every horizon stating, the view that lay before us in the evening light was one that does not often fall to the lot of modern mountaineers. A new world was spread at our feet. To the westward stretched a vast ice field probably never before seen by the human eye and surrounded by entirely unknown, unnamed and unclimbed peaks. The Columbia ice fields are the most visited ice fields in North America. The Skywalk is open May to October. It is a quarter of a mile interpretive trail. It has a glass bottom bridge that extends out from a cliff edge at a height of 300 meters above the valley floor and costs about $85 for the Skywalk and Ice Explorer package. They have two restaurants there, the Chalet the altitude. The Columbian Icefield Adventure is an ice explorer tour on the Athabasca Glacier that lasts about two and a half hours. The ice explorers that are six-wheeled, they are 56,000 pounds and built rugged to handle the landscaping. It holds about 56 passengers and pets are not allowed. You are encouraged to wear hiking attire and bring a bottle to fill with glacier water. And you will have a chance to step on a glacier during the tour. On July 18th, 2020, Jasper RCMP were called to the Icefields area. An ice explorer of the Columbia Icefield Adventure had rolled off an embankment on the Athabasca Glacier. The female driver, whom was never named with regards to this incident and goes by Jane Doe, had given out a limited amount of safety instructions. She had pointed out the rear exit and explained how to open the windows. There were no seat belts within the vehicle. While going down a steep incline, the bus operator had lost control. She had tried to brake, but was unsuccessful in slowing down the vehicle. The tour bus had lost traction with the road. The front tires hit the embankment and then went over the embankment. The tour bus rolled over four to six times with two of the rotations occurring within the air. It rolled about 50 meters down a moraine embankment and landed on its roof. The vehicle was carrying 27 passengers. 
14 people were sent to the hospital by STARS air helicopter and by ground ambulance. Four with critical injuries, all 14 people recovered. Three people, although, died. 24-year-old Dion Jocelyn Durisher from the Canoe Lake Cree First Nation of North Battleford, Saskatchewan, who was planning on going back to school for social working, a 28-year-old woman from Edmonton, and a 58-year-old man from India, whose names were not announced. Dion's boyfriend, Devin Ernest, who was in the vehicle with Dion had suffered a concussion, a fractured wrist, and lacerations to his head and hands after he said the last thing he remembers is falling onto the roof. He then awoke, found his female cousin, then found his girlfriend who had foam coming out of her nose. At that moment, he knew she was going to die. He was screaming her name and was telling her it was going to be okay and that he was sorry he brought her there, but he knew she wasn't going to make it. Dion passed away at the scene. He struggled going home after the accident without her, but with her clothes. They had been together for two years. Dion had never been to the mountains before. He is one of the victims involved with the lawsuit against Brewster's Incorporated. Investigators brought a collision analyst to the scene of the crash and ended up seizing the ice explorer involved. For the next two years, a criminal investigation by the Jasper RCMP was conducted. A separate investigation by the Occupational Health and Safety Act under the provincial government began, and two civil lawsuits of 25 million on behalf of the victims started running its course. The Columbia Icefield seized all tours with the ice explorers for the rest of 2020. After a two-year investigation, the Jasper RCMP media officer, Corporal Troy Savinkoff, said in December 2022, after all the measurements, thorough investigations of the scene, and witness statements, they came to the conclusion there wasn't enough evidence in order to lay criminal charges. The Occupational Health and Safety Act, although announced eight charges against the tour company called Brewster's Incorporated and the unnamed bus driver. These charges were failing to ensure the health and safety of passengers by not controlling the hazard of the slope of the lateral moraine. Lateral moraines are piles of rocks and debris which form on the sides of glaciers. They also were charged with failing to mandate seatbelt usage for employees, failing to maintain seatbelts, failing to ensure all equipment could safely perform its function and that all equipment used was free from obvious defects. The alleged OHS violations have yet to be proven in court. A conviction, although, could mean a $500,000 fine, imprisonment, and corporate probation. The Ice Explorer tours resumed in summer 2021 with the seatbelts installed and improved driver training implicated. A higher standard of vehicle and road maintenance has also been made a priority. The OHS and the lawyers representing six of the victims were waiting for the police report outcome to continue their court proceedings. The Jasper RCMP report was delayed for two years due to the COVID pandemic. Watch for updates on this case in the future. Thank you so much for watching Canadian Coffee House Crime and the Jasper National Park Series video number three. My name is Catherine and I'll see you in the next case. At the Basque Glacier when it rolled. I heard the front wheels kind of slide off, off the mountain. And then the last thing, I just seen the roof flying to the roof. Devin Ernest came to the Columbia Icefield with his cousin and girlfriend from Saskatchewan for a three-day trip. It was their last day. I woke up beside my girlfriend and she was breathing. She was okay. It looked like she was having a hard time breathing. And so I went to run into my cousin to make sure she was okay. And she was just having a hard time breathing too. I knew she was okay. When I went running back to my girlfriend, she stopped breathing and closed her eyes and that was it and I just cuddled with her until until the guys came and got me out of there.